Yo, I'm Nez, and I'm dropping some more car tech on y'all. And uh, this one I'm about to uh, do a review on. Doesn't necessarily have to be car tech, but it's car tech for me because that's what I'm using it for. So without further ado, bam! Doing a review of the Lenovo Tab 4 10 Plus. Now, they have two versions of this. Actually, they have they have uh, four versions. They have uh, uh, four versions of the Tab 4, I should say. They have um, two that are just regular Tab 4s, which is the 8 and the 10-inch. And then they have two Tab 4s that are the 8 and the 10-inch, but the Plus version. Now, this is the 10-inch Plus. This is the biggest one. Now, the difference is the, uh, one, the versions without the Plus on them, they're... Same exact tablet, same build and everything, just lower specs. Um, so, but the 8 and the 10 inch versions of each both have the same uh, exact specs, specs. So, the Tab 4 8 and 10 regular version, they both have the same exact specs. And the Tab 4 8 and 10 Plus both have the same specs. I don't know if you get, got all that, but... Um, that that's what it is. So so I have here the 10 inch version of the plus version. Um, so let's get right into that. This is the front of the box, obviously. Bong, the that side of the box. On this side over here, it just gives you a little bit of info there. Try to do the whole focus thing there, Bong. Um, as you see, 10 inches. Full HD, 1920 by 1200. Nothing on that side. On that side, just more artwork. And then you have the back. Now this is an Amazon recertified product. A product I didn't need to, because I'm buying this to replace my current tablet that I have in my whip right here. That still works, but it's not. You know, it's not enough power for what I use it for. Um, so I got this bad boy, and this is some, uh, like I said, this is an Amazon uh, um, recertified product. So we'll see. Um, here goes some information right here. Bang. This is an octa-core processor, as you see, and that's what attracted me to it. Those are more specs. Some more info, which I'm going to blur that stuff out because you don't need to know all that. And, uh... So let's get into the box. Okay, when you open a box, this is what you're presented with. You got the tablet right there up top, wrapped in plastic there. Let's move that out the way for now. Set that to the side. And then over here, you have what looks like some literature. And this black thing looks like it's... Uh, screen wipe situation here yep just a little cloth to wipe down your screen and uh some literature you know how i feel about that and then over here you got your power situation and this is usb-c just in case you didn't know there's the power brick right here for all you uh Electricity heads there. There goes that information right there. Bung. And here goes your USB. USB to USB-C cable here. As you see. Uh, focus in. All right, so without further ado, we're gonna get into this tablet, see what we're working with. Okay, so we got the tablet situation here. This is what, this is how big it is. Let's go ahead and take out the plastic. Now I took the liberty of, you know, turning on, setting up, playing away a little bit, setting up some apps. I know it's a little different than I normally do, but hey, whatever, right? So now one of the features that I like about this is the whole tap to wake thing. So you can just tap the screen, kind of like what the LG tablets do. You just tap the screen and it wakes it up. Just like that, bong, see? Now, it's a little slow on the response. LG is a little bit better. 
Um, they call it the knock knock on function. Now I just tested with my finger. Let me try knocking with my finger and see if that works better. See now, that didn't start up right there. Okay, so it definitely is tap. Definitely is not going to work with knock. So I'm going to try one more time. I'm going to let it go off. And then I'm going to try knocking one more time to see if, if it's definitely a difference. Um, okay, so I just didn't knock hard enough before, I guess. Okay, so now we in there. Okay, so I got through my password. Okay, so now we in. Okay, so we got the tablet. I know there's fingerprints all over it because, like I said, I've been using it. I guess I could have wiped it down a little bit. Hold on. Let me wipe the screen down a little bit. Hold on. Okay. It's much better now to wipe the screen down a little bit. Okay. So, so the screen is nice and vivid. I don't know if it's translating that well um, right now, but it's really, it's a really good screen. Um, it's your typical Android device. You know, you pull down to access all your stuff. Bong. <clears throat> um, like I said before, it's octa-core processor, 2 gigs of RAM. Uh, 16 gigs on board up to 256 card uh, SD card you could put in here. Um, this one's the LTE version um, So it does take a A, a T-Mobile or an AT&T SIM card and what I found out is that it does a really good job of recognizing the um, The SIM card because when I put it in it did recognize it, but I uh, manually uh, entered in the um, I manually entered in all my coordinates from my other tablet in there, not realizing that I already recognized it. But what it does is it has like a data fe uh, saving feature, which um, when you put in the SIM card, you got to turn your make sure the Wi-Fi is off. And when I first started the ta um, tablet, I logged onto the Wi-Fi so I can download all my apps and set it up and all this stuff before I put the SIM card in there. So when I put the SIM card in there, it wasn't going on SIM. So I had to log. I had to make sure I logged off the Wi-Fi. And I had to go into the settings to do it. I couldn't just hit the button. I had to go into the settings to log off the Wi-Fi. So that way, it, it gave me a prompt. It prompted and asked me if I want to just ha log off, this, use uh, mobile data this time, or if I want to do this all the time or use a mixture of both. And, um, and then that's when I, you know, I stuck the one, and that's when the data, uh, the, um, data service started working, which is T-Mobile is what I'm on right here. So, I mean, um, pretty responsive, no problem. You know, you got your app drawer right there, you know, scroll up and down situation there. You know, I mean, I got this app primarily, I mean, I got this tablet primarily to replace, like I said, to replace that one. Um, did I, I use that for, you know, I do uh, drive and stuff like that, you know, doing various things. So that's what this is going to be used for. So here's your camera situation. It's an 8 megapixel uh, main camera and um, uh, uh, 5 megapixel front camera. That's your main camera situation there as you see nice and crystal clear and let's switch it over to front here now we got the front facing camera that's me filming you filming me filming you that whole situation there so come out of the camera get my little fingerprints all over everything now um but uh yeah um this is a good tablet you know i mean on that side there, you got your power button right there and your volume up and down rocker. All right. I'm trying to zoom in so you can, I mean, uh, focus in so you can see. It's not doing a good job in here. Doing a review in the car. On the bottom, you got nothing. On the top, you got the dual speaker grill. Right, one right there and one on the other side there. All right, on this side, you got your spot for your your um, dual port for your SIM. It's right behind the Lenovo tab. You got your SIM and SD card slot there. And right there, you got your uh, USB-C port there. And then you got your headphone jack. All right. And then down there at the bottom there, you got your fingerprint scanner. That's strictly a fingerprint scanner. I haven't, for me playing around with it, I haven't seen if it does anything else yet. So, But it is a fingerprint scanner. And on the back... You got your cameras there, bong, your 8 megapixel in the flash, and some other crap. So, so as you see, it orients itself pretty fast. It's, you know, pretty responsive there. So, I mean, I'm going to say this is a really good tablet, you know. I mean, I can't complain. Um, let's go on YouTube real quick. I'm going to make sure I'm off the, yeah, I'm, I'm not on Wi-Fi, as you see. So, this is more of a data speed test and just a tablet but i just want to check the response this is a tablet 
So I loaded up to YouTube really fast. Um, oh, I want to check that video out later. Save that ad to watch later. Um, I'm just looking at something. Okay, a little quick video real right quick. Since you can hear a loud of this. is a giant monster squid from Jules Verne's iconic book, 20,000 So as you can see, this bad boy is really loud. So I don't want to get any infringement situations going on here. But you can see that was pretty loud. Um, yeah, man. I mean, this is a really good tablet. You know, I, I, I cannot complain about it. Let's go into the settings. Your typical settings. You know, this is Android. It is Nougat. Um, Android, as you can see right there, 7.1.1. Bong. Um, that it came already with that installed. I don't know if it was upgraded or anything like that. But like I said, this was a, um, a refurb. So I don't know if it came with uh, Android 6 and it was upgraded to 7 or that's how they sell it. I believe they do sell it with 7. Now I'm thinking they do sell it with 7.0 and maybe it was upgraded to 7.1. So um, you got your Wi Fi, Bluetooth, you know, um, mobile data, GPS. You know, all, all your typical things that you would have in an Android phone, you have in this tablet. So, that's uh, that's pretty good and that's useful. So, I mean, I, 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 really, I really like this tablet. You know what I'm saying? It's uh, very responsive. It's going to be a good situation to replace, you know, that bad boy right there, that LG. That was also, that's also a good tablet. It's just that I'm usually running multiple apps at the same time. Um, side by side, so I need something a little more power, and this is an octa core, so this should handle that no problem, no hiccups. Like I said, I do a lot of driving for like Uber, Lyft, and uh, DoorDash and stuff like that. I have another channel. I'll put the links in the description to that. You can check that out if you like. Um, and um, I'll, I have to run multiple um, apps side by side at the same time, and I, I don't need any lag. And I started getting a, uh, some lag with that tablet right there, running the Uber and Lyft with the navigation. And you know, when you have a nag, when you have a lag with navigation, that can, especially in the city, that can mean the difference of missing a turn and then having to go around a whole bunch of blocks. You guys know how it is in the city; it's all one ways. Every other street's a one way, so then you got to go around the whole block to come back just because you missed a turn because it lagged. So. Hopefully we won't have those situations with this tablet. Um, I'll be doing uh, I'll be doing vlogs and stuff, you know, on my other channel. Like I said, links will be in the description for, um, down below for that, um, and I'll link you know both to each other, and you'll be able to see the progress of this tablet. Because I'm you know while talking about everything else, I'll be talking about that too. One last thing I want to talk about is that it does have a fingerprint uh, sensor on there. Like I said, I told you before, I'm not doing a whole fingerprint thing because, like I said, it's going to be sitting right there. So there's no need for me to use it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to slap this uh, screen protector on that I bought for it uh, by 9 um, I don't. It's kind of a generic brand, but um, I did buy it on Amazon. So I'll put the links for that in the description. Um, I guess this is what it is right here. Bong. So I'm going to slap this on there. And um, and I also got a uh, a folio case for it by uh, Fenty. I'm gonna slap that on there too. I had already taped it up because um, I'm gonna need the magnet to stick back there, and it needs to be a smooth surface so that way I can stick it to my you know little spot right there, my little magnet spot right there. So um, the magnets, I'm familiar with these cases before because it's porous. The magnet won't stick to it so I had to create like a smooth situation so I got some duct tape and stuck it on here to make it nice and smooth and I'm stick the magnet to that and then it should stick no problem but I'll uh, let you see what this looks like inside the case when I uh, on a um, flip side okay we back in I got it all installed this is what it looks like inside the case here bong open it up and it should have came on when I opened it up but it didn't let's try it one more time And it didn't, so maybe this one doesn't. But the screen protector is all also on there, as you see. The screen protector fits perfectly. You know, it has a little spot around the the fingerprint sensor and the uh, the cameras right there. There's uh, cutouts for everything. You know, the um, it's right there. There's a power button, your volume up and down rocker, um, your speaker grill is not covering your speakers, so that's good. And then you have access to your ports with this uh, case. So I have to say the case is a good case. The only thing I would have liked is the automatic wake function. Oh, there it is, it worked that time. Um, so I don't know, maybe it was the way I had it before or something like that, I don't know why I didn't do it. Let's try it again. Uh, make sure it's off. Okay, it's off. And 
No, it didn't work that time. All right, let's try it again. Yep. So it's hit or miss with that. It has a little fun a little slot over here for a stylus or a pen or whatever. And um, as far as the uh, open to wake thing, um, that's hit or miss. So. Yep. See, didn't do it that time. Let's try it this time. Nope. One more time. Okay, so I'll say the the open to wake, you know, if that's why you're buying it, then hey, you know, I mean the, the this only costs seven bucks for this, so I mean if I would have spent like twelve, fifteen bucks, I probably could have got that to work properly. But hey, it protects the tablet. That's what I want it for, even though I'm cutting this part off and I'm gonna be sticking it to the that. That's why I bought the cheap one. So, hey, it's serving its purpose for the to hold my uh, tablet without me having to stick the um, the magnet directly to the tablet. So, yeah, uh, that's what it looks like inside the case and with the screen protector on. As you see, the screen protector. Oh, there it opened up. Hold on. As you see, the screen protector. There's really no difference in the picture there. So, everything's, you know, gravy. You know, everything's still crystal clear. So, yeah, that's a good screen protector. So, um, yeah, hey, I definitely cop those. I'll put the links for these in the description. I'll put the links for the case and the, um, and the screen protector as well as the tablet in the description below also. So, with that being said, um, I'm Nez, and this has been the official review of the Lenovo Tab 4 10 plus this is the 10 inch plus variant of the lenovo tab 4 um as well as the uh finti um folio case and whatever generic screen protector that um like i said before i put all the links in the description for everything um yeah cop that you know it's it's i think it's worth it so hey maybe you will too and uh hopefully this video helped you out and did that decision so um, yeah, I'm Nez, and I'm out this piece. Another car tech review down, baby. Links in the description. Cop those.